Hello, this is Dr. Rieger, and welcome to the next installment of GeoMap App Tours. Today we're going to be looking at ocean basins. And here in front of us we see the uh, Atlantic Ocean Basin, focused on the North Atlantic Ocean Basin. You see the shade of blue represents the depth of the seafloor, or the bathymetry of the seafloor. And if you look at the, at the information bar up here, whenever I move my cursor down onto the seafloor, we get the depth in meters, the negative number means below sea level. And so here, for example, my cursor is location. Is that a location? The seafloor where it's 5,985 meters below sea level. And as we go from dark blue to light blue to um, red to white, we get progressively shallower. So we already talked about continental margins in our last GeoMap app tour. This time we're going to talk about ocean basins in general. And so we know that on the edges of basins we have the continental margins. Other features running through basins are these what are known as mid-ocean ridges which are the result of divergent plate boundaries. This is the mid-Atlantic ridge. So you can see these ridges uh, rise up from the sea floor and then on each side of the ridges, we have these deep sea floors known as abyssal plains. So the abyssal plains are the largest bathymetric or, or topographic feature on the planet because they are the most common uh, feature of the ocean basin. And the ocean basin cover, ocean basins cover the majority of Earth's surface. And then on uh, the abyssal plains, we have these extinct volcanoes, which are known as abyssal hills. Okay, and also at subduction zones, we have these deep ocean trenches, as we can see over here. This is the, uh, the subduction along the coast of Central America, the deep ocean trench there. So let's look at a profile of, say, the North Atlantic Ocean Basin elevation profile. Just okay, so there. Now, as I move my cursor over this profile, you can see uh, where along that line we are looking because of the red dot and the black circle. So, here we see elevation zero, this is sea level, so anything above it is on land, anything below it is on the sea floor. And so here we see we come to the coastline and we are now on the continental margin as we talked about last time. And we hit the shelf break and in the, in the continental slope. As we are on the continental slope then we hit the continental rise okay? and then we come down to the abyssal plain. So this is the abyssal plain down here and you can see where uh, on the map above, my cursor is moving along, it's that dark blue. And then, on the rising up from the abyssal plain, we have the mid-ocean ridge. So this is the diversion plate boundary, you can see why it's called a ridge. And so, holding my cursor here at the very center of the ridge, you can see on the map above that I'm right, located right on that ridge. And then we can move down back onto the abyssal Plains on abyssal plain on the right side or the east side of the ridge, and then we go back up onto the continental margin of Africa and then above sea level. Again. So, this is a typical ocean basin, um, except you know that there's no plate boundaries along uh, the edges of this basin. So, if we draw a prof profile say here we can catch the edge of a basin that does have a plate boundary and that takes the form of a subduction zone because this is a convergent plate boundary the oceanic lithosphere converging and subducting under the continental lithosphere and that forms the deep ocean trench you can see my cursor and its elevation profiles in that trench and on the map it is right on that dark blue Line. You can also see that mid-ocean ridge right there, 
this little peak right here in this elevation profile, I see them right over that ridge. And then we have the abyssal hills. So if we look down here, you can see some examples of some abyssal hills right here. It takes a second for the the uh, high resolution grid to load, so bear with me. So you can see these features rising up from the sea floor, though they're pixelated granulated right now. Ah, there they are. These are some abyssal hills. Okay, and so those that have a rounded top are known as sea mounts, in that they never have reached the sea floor. Sorry, they've never reached uh, the ocean surface. And those that have a flat top are known as guyots, having reached the sea surface and their tops been eroded off so that they're flat. Um, and so there's sea uh, abyssal hills all over the uh, sea floor and most of them are extinct volcanoes that were active near the sea floor uh, that they're present on was closer to the ridge and it had just been formed and there was magmatic activity nearby. So that is ocean basins, uh, generally speaking, and I look forward to meeting with you next time on GeoMap App Tours. Thank you.